EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2005. Michigan for the Motor City Bowl, where we'll see which team gets to drive away with the bowl trophy. Today's game will be played in a controlled climate of a dome. So let's get set for the Northwestern Wildcats and the Toledo Rockets. And here come the Rockets. Nestler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit here to carry out the mission of bringing you excellent commentary to match the great play we expect to see in this bowl game. The Wildcats are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. Toledo needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. His ability to read the defense and take what they give him is the reason they'll win this football game. He's a smart young man. Let me tell you why I agree with you. Toledo should have a lot of success passing the football. And the only thing that can stop this offense in this game is themselves. Kirk, that's not going to happen, my friend. See how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He kicks it. Number one, pass it at the five. They'll get the ball here at the 25. Toledo comes out in the shotgun. And they got him for a loss. It's an excellent job by the defense here to read the draw play. Yeah, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. Ha, they were having none of that, my friend. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Wildcats bring in the nickel package. What's the middle? Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 24. The Wildcats line up with six defensive backs. He drops back. Across the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He let his hat back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number nine, back to return. He gets it off. Number nine, fields it at the 35. This is a great opportunity here for the offense to try to get an early lead on this first drive. They'll go to work at the 36-yard line. Northwestern comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Wants to throw outside. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Rockets bring in their dime package. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. And he brings it down. Down the sideline. 
How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Number 33, alone in the backfield. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Wildcats set up in the gun. Stop behind the line. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. Third down and seven. Ball on the 26. Third and seven. Ball on the 26 yard line. Toledo puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Back to pass. Looks across the middle. And it's incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. Yeah, this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. Got to relax and just make a good throw. <laughs> Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Here comes the special teams unit. The kick is up. And it's no good. It lands short. Toledo is one of the best teams in the country at getting points once they enter the red zone. You're absolutely right, my friend. This offense knows how to close the deal and get points on the scoreboard. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 23. The Rockets line up with four wideouts. He drops back. Throws to the middle. And he dropped it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on their own 23. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. Someone got a hand on it. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. He punts it. Number nine takes it to 43. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Number 33, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. Looking, rolls to the right, across the middle. He tries to spin. They'll bring him down. The defense was all over that pass, guys. That's because they were able to get pressure here, Brad. And when you toss them up like that in his own coverage, it's an easy pick. They'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. 
Number 38 is the single setback. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down. Counter play is good for about a yard. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 39. 39 yard line. They come out with three wide receivers across the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Third and nine. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Rockets come out showing three wide. Once and all, going deep with the interception. Lost the ball, football. Defense has it, it's one of the corners. Coach, what can you do to avoid those turns? Well, you gotta be fundamentally sound. You've gotta protect the football with your body. I don't care who you are. It's first and ten, ball on their own ten. The Rockets bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. He's going left. Finds his receiver, and he's taken down. Good yardage there, and that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. First and ten, ball on the 21. The Rockets line up with six defensive backs. Lay action, throws, it's deflected. Guys, that was a pass that just hung up there. He really should have just fired the ball down the field. So it's second and 10, ball on the 21 yard line. The Rockets bring in the nickel package the middle and he's tackled they get three yards on the play it's third down and seven to go all on their own 24 the Wildcats line up with three wide he drops back he tosses it short broke away from one and they make the stop and that pass and catch gives them a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. One man backfield. Drops back to pass. He's going right. Finds a man at the 40. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown! Coach, what can you say about that? All I can say is, that was a nice call. The quarterback saw the hole in the defense, and that's a touchdown, folks. And he hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Western to kick. Here's the kick. 
Number one takes it at the four. <laughs> we might see two hands on the ball after their last drive. Yeah, but if you start thinking too much about fumbling, you become less effective as a runner. They just need to go out there and play their game. The They'll set up shop at the 15. The Rockets set up in the gun. Spinning. And they hit him in the backfield. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 12. The Wildcats line up with six defensive backs. Throws! He's got it! They'll bring him down. That's a gain of eight. After a quarter of play, our score is Northwestern, seven, Toledo, nothing. Third and five. Ball on the 20. Northwestern brings in their nickel package. Across the middle. And got it complete. And he's tackled. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Toledo in a four-wide set. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Found his man. And he's tackled. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number seven has four receivers lined up here. They'll throw on first down. He zips it out. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. Nickel defense. Ball on the 22-yard line. Back to pass. He steps up. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Rolling out to the left side. To the end zone. Good pressure there, and he can't find his man in the end zone. You can see that the defense was thinking pass the whole way, and they were able to force the bad throw. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Rockets come out in a shotgun. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. The ball is tipped. Incomplete. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. Quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Number 24 is lined up for the kick. It's up. Here they are in the red zone. These numbers tell a story of success. Well, once they get down here, you can count on one thing. They're going to put points up on the board. The defense lines up with six DB. They go with a pitch to the right. Tackle. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Second and seven. Ball on the 25-yard line. Toledo lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. Short toss. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He let his half back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. Third 
Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 25. The Wildcats come out in the ace formation. He's going right, and he can't make the catch. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 99 punts it, and it's a good one. Number one takes it to the 33. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kicker has to wait on the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. They'll take over at the 43-yard line. Toledo comes to the line with three wide. They run a counter, and he's taken down. A couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 45-yard line. Toledo lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Down the middle. Caught. Inside the 30. To the 20. Brought down. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. It's first and 10, ball on the 14. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. Back to pass. Throws. It falls incomplete. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to dry that time. Second and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. Number 38, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. Almost intercepted. That could have easily been a turnover. Yeah, I don't even think the quarterback even saw that guy. Well, he almost saw him running the other direction with the football. Third down and 10 coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. Toledo comes out of the shotgun. Someone got a hand on it. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Number 24 lines up for the field goal. He gets it up. And it's right down the middle. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive somewhere. like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it. Number 28 takes it to 15. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll get the ball here at the 29-yard line. Number 33 is the single setback. Here comes the pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. Northwestern calls a timeout.
About two minutes before halftime. Number 14 is back in the gun. He drops back. Steps up. Across the middle. And he dropped it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 22-yard line. Number 33, alone in the backfield. And it's caught, and down he goes. Toledo takes a timeout. They come out in a punt formation. He gets it off. Number one, fields it at the 44. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He returns it all the way to score. How exciting is that? Well, let me tell you, the thing that impressed me on that run back was his ability to recognize the hole and then the quickness that he had to get through the opening. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Toledo 10, Northwestern 7. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Short kickoff. Number 28 fields it at the 13. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Toledo puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. They'll throw on first down, throws it to the outside, and it falls incomplete. Number five, the intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27. The Wildcats line up with five receivers. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete. Ball out of bounds and incomplete. Great effort here by the wideout, but you know what? The quarterback was off just enough to cause that incompletion. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 27. The Rockets line up in a nickel back. Drops back to pass. Looks. Throws it to the outside. Got it. Oh, my, that long game gives them a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First, first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Toledo brings in the nickel here. He drops back. He steps up. He's going to go for the home run. Incomplete pass. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Northwestern lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He throws it. It falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Toledo lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. 
and they couldn't hook up on that one. That one way too far out in front. You know what, guys? That's what I refer to as a radio ball. You can hear it, you just can't see it. And if the receiver can't see it, then he's not going to catch it. Is deep to receive, and something tells me he's looking for a second return. Puts the ball away. Number one takes it at the 21 with the spin. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 27. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back, looking, and he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Right. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 27. Four wide. Back to pass. He's in trouble. He's looking. And they got it. Northwestern calls a timeout. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 19. They line up in the jumbo set. They'll give it off here. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Northwestern takes a timeout. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 31 gets it off. Number 9 takes it to 45. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 47-yard line. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He passes it, complete, and they got him for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. Four wide, he drops back. He's under some heat. He gets rid of it, and he can't make the catch. Dropped by the wideout. Third and 14, ball on the 43-yard line. Toledo may have trouble covering the five wide receivers on the field as they come out to 44 defense. Back to pass. Short goal. Batted ball. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep, total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. The same guy that already ran one all the way back. Number 99 gets it off. Number one takes it to 23. He jukes. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 25. The Rockets set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle, he spins around, and they make the stop. Toledo calls a timeout. It's first and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. Toledo lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass, steps up, looking. Home run ball in the air. He goes up and gets it. What a display of pure speed. Now, anytime this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. And if I was calling a plays, I would say, go run past everybody and we'll throw it to you. He can fly.
and he tacks on the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Toledo, 17, Northwestern, 7. Toledo to kick this one off. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 28 fields it at the 11. Look at the power. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll get the ball here at the 23. Six DBs in the lineup. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Toledo, 17. Northwestern, 7. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Here's the kick. Number 28 fields it at the 11. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. Toledo comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Down he goes. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. Number 14 lines up in the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Rockets bring in their dive package. He drops back. He tosses it short. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. Third and eight, ball in the 42. The Wildcats with four receivers. Throws this one out to the left. And he's tackled. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number one signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 24-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. The Rockets come out in a shotgun. Here's a counterplay. Spins upfield. And down he goes. Couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 26. Toledo comes to the line with three wide. Pitch left. Tries to juke. And they hit him in the backfield. That'll be a loss of one. Right. 
It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Rockets with four receivers. Drops back to pass. He steps up, throws it to the outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. Well, the defense stood tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number nine, back to the Number 31 gets it off. Number nine fields it at the 40. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. You know, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll go to work at the 49-yard line. The Rockets line up with six defensive backs. Here's a pitch left side. Oh, what a move. They'll bring him down. And they pick up two yards. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 49. The Wildcats line up with four wideouts. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. It's deflected. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Third and eight. Ball right around midfield. Northwestern lines up with three receivers. And now he's going to run. He has some room. And he's tackled. And we got an injured player on the field. It's first and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. Nickel defense, here's a pitch left side. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Yeah, that time the defense was swarming to the ball and really didn't allow this tailback any room to run. Second down and 12. This is the fifth play of this drive. Toledo brings in their nickel package. Down the middle. Got it to his receiver. And down he goes. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. Second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Here's a pitch left side. Bounces off the would-be tackle. Tackle. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there running the football by this guy. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Straight ahead with the fullback. Touchdown, Northwestern. I like it. Give the ball to the big fella, and the big hoss makes his way into the end zone. When this guy starts rumbling, you better get out of his way, or he's going to leave cleat marks on your chest.
and he hits the PAT. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Western, ready to kick this one off. Number one and number four, back deep to return. And they'll be returning this one. Number one, has it at the five. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll take over at the 21-yard line. Toledo comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He wants it all, going long. And the ball. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 21. The Wildcats bring in the nickel package. Pitch is right. Shaken bank move. They'll bring him down. Three yards there on the play. A field goal is the difference as we head to the fourth quarter. Third and seven coming up here. All on their own 24. The Rockets come out in a shotgun. He drops back, looks, under pressure, lets it go, and it's caught. Brought down. And that's three and out. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you deserve a pat on the back. So they're set to pump this one away. He gets it off. Number nine takes it for 36. Hardly tough sledding for this offense that last drive as they took it in for six. Now look no further than the guys up front. They created some huge holes to run through. They'll start this drive at the 35. The Rockets line up in a nickel back. Drops back the pass. Across the middle. The ball is tipped, and it falls incomplete. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you call that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by the quarterback. Second and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's going right. And he can't make the catch. Dropped by the tailback. Yeah, not an easy catch here, but if you want the ball to keep coming your way, you got to make these plays. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 35. They come out with four linebackers. He drops back. Across the middle. It's deflected. I don't think the offense was on the same page on that drive. It's three and out on three incomplete passes. Is deep to receive, and something tells me he's looking for a second return. Number 99 gets it off. Number one fields it for 30. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 40-yard line. Toledo comes out with two tight ends. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. 
The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 40. Number 38 lines up as a single back. They'll give it off here. He jukes him, and he's tackled. A gain of nine yards on the play. The Rockets line up in a goal line formation. Toss right side. Can he get the first? There's a missed tackle. Has some daylight. Look at the strength. And down he goes. And they get a nice gain on third down. Remember we talked to the coach. And he mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense. And he felt that he may have some success. Well, they've had some success on that play. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Toledo comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Again with a carry. And they make the stop. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Second and nine coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Rockets come out in a shotgun. Snap across the middle, finds his receiver, brought down. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. They're in the red zone where last time they came away with only a field goal. He lets it go. Incomplete pass. He let his half back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 15. Toledo lines up in a shotgun set. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Northwestern takes a timeout. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Toledo comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. He lobs it left. And it's incomplete. He overshot his halfback that time. Comes in for a crucial attempt that will put them up by more than a field goal. It's up. And it's wide left. No good. They'll go to work at the 20. Number 33, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Rockets bring in the nickel package. He's going right. 
Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 20. The Wildcats line up with three wide. He drops back. Pressure coming. Looking. Let's it fly. Ball is tipped. Almost intercepted. So they continue to struggle with a passing game, and now it's fourth down. He didn't complete a single pass on this drive, and you've got to wonder if the coach is starting to lose confidence in this young man. He's got the arm to succeed at this level, but you've got to wonder about his composure right now. They've got to go for it on this fourth and long. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. Got it! And he's tackled. Huge play on fourth down. That was a sensational call. It sure was here, guys. Usually on fourth down, you have the receiver run just enough yards to get to the marker. The defense here was looking for that. They went right over their heads for the big play. And it looks like we have our Old Spice players of the game. Toledo puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. With the throw. And he can't hang on to it. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Wildcats line up with five receivers. Looks. He's going right. Someone got a hand on it. Great defensive play by the cornerback. Third and 10. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Three wideouts here. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Step on. Don't start on the offense. Five on three. Still. They'll have to do it again. What a way to kill the rhythm of this offense. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball of their own 44. Back to pass, throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. The Wildcats come out showing three wide. They need this pass. Across the middle, and down he goes. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll take over at the 46. Toledo lines up with three receivers. The counter, a little juke. And he's taken down. Northwestern calls a timeout. Right. It's first and 10, ball on the 43. We'll kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. Northwestern takes a timeout, and that was their last timeout. Second down and 12. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he'll take a knee. And he'll just kneel it here. It's third down at 14 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Wildcats bring in their dive package. You'll get it again. And they make the stop. Short little game there. Just try to keep that clock running. 
Keep that clock running and keep that other offense off the field. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. And this one's all wrapped up. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Toledo really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2005. Our final score, Toledo 17, Northwestern 14. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.